Um, hello everyone, so my name is Mark, I am 21, I'm from Newcastle, I study at York St John University um, and I study criminology and policing studies. So this video today shouldn't be any longer than 10 minutes because hopefully in this time I can show you uh, where I've come from, where I am now, what I'm planning to do and maybe it's how university has helped us um, get to where I am now and it'll help us get to where I want to be. Um, I hope there's someone out there that maybe is doesn't want to go to university uh, or is on the fence and this video just confirms that maybe I do want to go to university, maybe I do want to look into it, maybe I do want to start kind of investigating kind of the process of university, where, how, what, why, things like that. And hopefully again if there's someone there that does want to go to university that this again confirms that, that confirms that you do want to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a few sections um, just so it kind of gets broken down into maybe five, two minute kind of slots. Uh, I will, for example, I'm going to talk about where I've come from, um, where I'm at now, where I want to be. Um, maybe it's what, uh, what a university kind of kitchen looks like, room looks like, something like that. And then uh, a walk to university just to show you how maybe it's close um, university accommodation can be and how maybe quick it is to get into university, things like that. So hopefully by the time you come to university, we're allowed back into university and we can see everyone face to face again. Because currently, um, my trip to university is is about this far. Um, but that's that's all all current. Um, but by the time you get here, hopefully, um, my walk applies and it'll show you just maybe how close university can be to accommodation blocks and that it's quite a nice walk there, something like that. So I will um, hopefully make this video quite interesting for you all. Uh, hello, so I'm back. Um, this section, this quick two minutes, is going to be about why I came to university. Uh, and I kind of feel like this is a good place to start because it maybe that explains a few more things of, to why I took what I did at, um, at A-level. So uh, where I want to be in life is I want to be in the police. And that's kind of my ultimate career goal is to progress through there. And my tip to you is understand where you want to be and um, start to understand how to get there. So my understanding was, as of 2020, the police were um, introducing a, a scheme where you had to have a degree to to apply to the police, a degree in anything. So um, I understood that in 2020, I would still only be 20 year old, which is quite young to join the police. So if I wasn't going to get in at 20, I would have to have a degree. So I thought, I'll, well, I'll go get one. So by the time I finish, um, I'll be... 2021 20, but with a degree now so I'm kind of a better candidate to apply for the role. So my degree being criminology and policing studies I backtracked the steps I, I wanted to see where I wanted to be and then I worked backwards to where you are now. So I took criminology and policing studies and my um, school didn't do a criminology A level or college course or whatever so I took law, psychology, sociology and philosophy at A level because I thought that would better kind of prepare myself for a criminology degree. So coming to university, I have got a lot more background knowledge to help me in the course. So my tip to you is don't kind of work from step one to step two to step three. Work three, two, one. Some people might think that's a bad idea, but it's worked for me. I've saw where I wanted to be at in university. So I picked the A-levels which would um, aid me in that in that degree. Um, so that's my kind of tip to you. So crack off your GCSEs and just work that too hard as you can to open up enough um, opportunities for A-level to so you're not limited on courses, because I know maybe some courses might require a certain level in some GCSE. So my advice is just try your hardest. And I know with things like this currently, there's, kind of um, pandemic that we're in, that things can be hard and concentrating can be hard, but if you just try your hardest and always seek help where you need it, you can open up a lot more opportunities for A-level to then open up a lot more opportunities for um, a degree. So um, my kind of tip is understand where you want to be in life, understand how you're going to get there, and then start working backwards to where you are now to, uh, to be able to work forwards. So that's my first tip for uh, getting to university, um, and that's what I did. Quick video on maybe what's it like to live at university. 
So obviously with me being from Newcastle, um, I have moved away from Newcastle to live in York and I have been here for, th this is my third year. And to be honest, I don't really intend on going back to Newcastle because I feel like now I've moved out, I've broke that seal, I've, I've, I've kind of made that step. So whilst I'm out, I hope I'll stay out, so hopefully at the university I can stay outside of Newcastle and possibly stay in York. Uh, but this is just me a very quick thing on, on maybe what's it like to live out. And yes, for the first few weeks you might be missing home, but you're so engrossed on university life now that you start to um, you start to forget. Um, the main times you start to think about home is maybe at night when you're kind of in bed by yourself and and you know that you're kind of in, you're so far away. But other than that, if, if you keep busy, um, kind of it, it, you're all just kind of fully engrossed in it. Um, that's for example, that's one of the accommodation blocks there. Uh, just a very typical accommodation block. Um, another thing is university does offer uh, a lot of um, opportunities. So I know when I was living at home in Newcastle, I did play American football, but a lot of people at university have never played these things before because they've never had the opportunity. Um, what I'm going to quickly do is show you what it's like in a university uh, accommodation block, even just a kitchen really. And maybe I'm quite a bad example because for starters, I need to meet weekly shop tomorrow. But maybe it's just the things to have in a university kitchen as a fail-safe. Um, uh, my tip for this video is, is understanding finances. And this is where you mature at university because you're now independent. If you're late for a lecture, um, you've got no one to be telling you, come on, come on, get up. When I was living at home, that was what my mum always used to do. It's got nothing to do with her, but she would always kind of alert us that I was going to be late. Um, but again, independence is what maybe he's judging your finances um you now can't go to the shop to buy one pot noodle for one pound when you can get a pack of four for one pound fifty and um, it's all about understanding the finances that you've got maybe it's student finance england as well that's that's the money that you get given to live out and, and, and pay your tuition fees and stuff um so my my tip for this one is going to university you gain independency which isn't just a degree now to go to university. You get these skills which you can put on your CV and say, I've been to university, I can manage money, I can manage time. Um, and then you're more likely to maybe be a good candidate for a, for a job. Because um, employers know that universities aren't just degrees, universities are, are life skills. So I'll quickly show you out here. So very quickly, I'll just turn these lights on. I'll very quickly show you what's in my, um, what's in my cupboard. Um, again, I kind of strongly recommend a strong diet at university is good because you get, sometimes you get so fully engrossed in, in university life that you start to lose a good routine. So a good routine is to eat three times a day and I'll quickly show you what's in my cupboard over here. So yes, I've got your standard eggs and stuff or um, scrambled egg and stuff, but like you've got a lot of non-perishables in here, which are always good as a backup. So I've got pasta, I've got rice, hot dog, yeah, hot dog, what's that? Beans, uh, pot noodle, um, obviously pasta, um, sauce, things like that, tea. There's a lot of things like that, and obviously um, that's good to, to have a backup for food because food is really vital to obviously supplying not only physically but mentally. And, and that's kind of what we need a lot of at university is a lot of physical and mental strength. Um, to, to get these new skills because you are by yourself now so you've got to do a lot more thinking um, so if you kind of have an interest in in wanting to really progress yourself in life then university is, is a really good option because you, you gain a lot of skills from, from university like independency, like money management like um, timekeeping sticking to deadlines, things like that because if you go to GCSE then A levels and then just get a job um, everyone's been GCSEs, everyone's kind of done for education, but university is a choice. If you make that choice, personally, I think that shows a really good reflection of character to um, to an employer. Um, but again, I understand that there's a lot of um, people that maybe don't want to do that, and their career path doesn't require university, and that, again, is perfectly fine. But if it's something you're interested in, I highly recommend it. Starting to research what you want to do, where you want to go, and like I said, Maybe have a dream and work back from it to where you are now so you can get the steps of where you want to be. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you just a very quick walk to university and I hope I can uh, talk over the top of this. So I'll um, close off with, with that just to show you what York St John looks like because not only am I promoting kind of what, what a student is like at York St John but maybe um, just 
the university itself. I'm not here to promote York at all. I'm here to promote um, people going to university, which I really hope you can all consider. Um, right, so this video is just me leaving the house and going to university just to show you what my walk would have been maybe it's the first two years that I've been here to get to university. The video is a little bit wobbly at the start, just as I'm getting the grips to where to hold my camera. Um, as you can see, there's those little houses around um, the outside, and those are student accommodation houses where first years live in. So you would be a first year if you came to university, you would live in with other people, and those are upstairs, downstairs houses. Um, through the wobbling, you can see to the right are much bigger buildings. I promise it does kind of smooth out soon. Um, so those bigger buildings are like what I live in, which is like a long corridor of, of maybe four to five people that live in there. And you don't really get to pick who you live with. But again, it's a skill that you learn whilst at university to um, maybe respect other people's living habits. Um, and you start to be more tolerant because, of course, you've never really lived with people other than your family before. So going to university and, and having this skill is is really kind of beneficial to, again, getting a job and where you want to be. It's something you can put on your CV, and some people don't think about these things um, because, like I keep trying to reiterate, that university is not just about a degree. It's about all the skills that come with it. So another one, to, another kind of string to add to your bow would be that when you apply at university, um, when you apply to a job, sorry, you can maybe articulate the fact that you have um, worked in a team, and by team that is maybe it's when you've been cleaning the kitchen with a bunch of people that you've never met before, you've you've got a sense of uh, confidence the way you met people, um, confidence in in kind of saying who you are, meeting people, meeting friends, and that's, again, another university skill. Um, to me really talk about my course, uh, I do criminology, and uh, that's all about the study of crime and crime rates, and who commits more crime, why they commit more crime, uh, which gender, uh, which um, which ethnicity, which kind of, kind of um, which area, things like that. So it, it was all about crime rates and why they happen, how to stop them. Um, and it's something which you can maybe apply to life, um, and that's interesting. It's interesting to learn things on an academic basis, and then go outside and understand it from a literal basis. So you wouldn't, you kind of apply what you learned in, into where you live. So we're starting to get into the university now, and I've only been walking for nearly kind of four minutes. So it's quite a close walk. We will get to see a bit of the York St John campus. Um, but again, some of the biggest things to kind of drill home is is that GCSEs, because everything is like a like a base, like a building block. So to build up to a degree, you really do have to to knuckle down at A level, and to knuckle down at A level, you need to get in a good learning pattern. You need to understand how you learn best. So hopefully, during your GCSEs, you can really. Um, excel in, 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 in your GCSE exams and stuff and, and understand what your style of learning is to then apply that to uh, A-levels to then again open up opportunities for um, degrees. Um, a few things which I hope kind of do kind of tick a few boxes for people watching this video is uh, some of the myths I was told about university so one of the myths I was told was um, you go to university and you're all by yourself and yeah it's such a big step up from a level and gcse and stuff but that's not true um it really isn't so if you need help with something the same way you'd see a teacher you just go and see your lecturer which is basically your teacher and that's when you can talk about maybe the assessment that's due or the work that's been set um so as this video kind of draws to a close i kind of hope that i said something that might spur someone on to, to go to university uh, or can confirm someone that does want to go if you do want any more information do speak to York St John University and they'll be, um, they'll kind of point in the direction of the recruitment team and hopefully the recruitment team can put you in contact with a student ambassador, which is someone like me, to maybe talk to you about their journey. So I do hope everyone's, everyone's kind of uh, learned something from this. Uh, so good luck to everyone in school 
and I do hope that you come to university and thank you all uh, for listening.